One of the most common things you'll do is post information to an HTTP server. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see here, I have two folders. One of them is called client and the other one is called server. In the client, I have the code that you would run inside of the browser. And as you might imagine, the server one has code uh, that you will run on top of Node.js. So let's go ahead and open that up. As you can see here, I have a register.html file and I also have a supporting library. So let's go ahead and open up the file. And as you can see here, I have a few tags. The first one references that, J that JavaScript file that I mentioned, that library. And then I have a div, which includes a number of input fields. As you can see here, this is uh, representing what you would do when you would uh, fill out a registration form. It has a field for email and it has a field for your password. And then it has a button to post that information to the server. I also have a status field where I'm going to write back into the form if the posting was successful. As you can see here, when uh, the button is clicked, the register method is called. And so I have a function called uh, register. And the very first thing that I do is I put into a variable the address that I'm going to post this information to. In this case, the server is at port 3000. I'm running it locally. So I'm entered their local host. And I have then the route that I'm trying to access, which is the register route. And we'll see what that means in the server in a minute. I then create an object. The object is just the information from the form. I have an email uh, property and then I have a password property. Now, once I do that, then I can go ahead and use the library. The library uh, defines uh, a object that has a number of methods and in this case the library's name is superagent as you can see there and I'm specifying there on line 22 that I'm going to do a post I then pass it the address this is the variable that I define on line 14 I then give it the information in this case the object that I define on line 15 which is the user and then I end by handling two cases the error case as you can see here it takes a callback function and then the response if there's an error we will go into the first if statement if it is successful then we will go into the else statement as you can see here I'll write to the console okay then the body of the response and then I'm going to simply update the status of that field uh, which is on line uh, 8 and simply give uh, give us some feedback so I'm going to go ahead and run this uh, before we move over to the server side. So let's go ahead and drag and drop this into the browser. And as you can see there, I have a couple of fields. I'm going to go ahead and make them a little bit bigger. Not too big, so we can see the status. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and run the servers. I have a server that is serving up the uh, page that we're on. So this one, as you can see here, is the client. We're at the same path as in the uh, finder window. I'm simply going to enter here HTTP server, and you can use any server you like. This happens to be uh, a simple light one uh, provided by an NPM module. So as you can see there, I'm now listening in port 8080. I'm then going to run the Node.js server. Uh, and as you can see, that is the content that is on the other folder as when I showed you uh, the finder window. And for now, I'm simply going to, uh, we haven't seen this code yet, but I'm simply going to show you that that in fact does run. And it is ready to uh, listen for requests. As you can see here, we're posting to that server, port 3000. As you can see there, it's ready and listening. So let's go ahead and fill out this information. We'll enter here able at mit.edu and I will write uh, as a password my secret and I will post that information and as you can see there uh, the information that was posted back as a, a response from the server is the following we now have a user ID as well so let's go ahead and take a look at what happened on the server uh, and drag and drop uh, that uh, that code into our editor. I'm going to go one folder up 
And as you can see there, I have the server folder. And in the server folder, I simply have a single file, which is index.js. Now, if you take a look at it, you can see there that I'm requiring the Express module. Uh, then I create an instance of Express. I also allow course. This is uh, cross-domain postings of information because I am going to uh, allow uh, postings from anywhere, from any client, onto the server. I'm then requiring a body parser. Uh, all of these packages are from NPM. I'll show you how to install them in a minute. Uh, I then say that I'm going to be posting or that I wanted to be able to post JSON information. And as you can see, this is the route that we're posting to. So the very first thing that we do is that we write to the console on the server simply to see what was posted. Then we create an ID. Remember, we saw that ID in the client. Uh, I then create an object with the ID information plus what was posted. And then I send it back to the client and I end uh, the request. And you can see there that that last line on line 34 is simply listening for requests. So if we take a look at the uh, uh, server window you can see here we have listening on port 3000 which is the first message and then we have that console write that simply looks at what was posted so let's go ahead and repeat that post simply uh, to show you one more time the cycle I'll go ahead and enter here John uh, at MIT that edu and I will enter my secret as well for a password I'll go ahead and post that and if we go back to the server window you can see there that one more posting has been made and we've received uh, the verification and the new ID at the client console. This is within the browser. Now let me just show you one last thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the server here. This is the server. Uh, before you can make this run, if you do not have the uh, modules already installed you would need to go ahead and install them and you can see here that we have two of them the first one is express the second one is body parser the way you would install them is simply by entering npm install I went enter then the name of the module which is express in this case it should be fairly fast because I have already installed it and then the second one would be body parser so let's go ahead and enter that and as you can see, that was pretty fast as well. If you have not done this, you would what you would observe on your uh, file system is that a new no, uh, node underscore modules folder has been created. And under it, you would find all kinds of uh, dependencies to the modules that you installed. So that's pretty much uh, it for this one. It's simply a basic example on how to post information to uh, an HTTP server.